Sunrise on Sirius Planet. Sirius shines with a cool white glare on the bare expanse of the spaceport parade ground, where the company is at attention before a high podium on which stand the black-clad figure of my old friend the Commandant, flanked by the very large grotesque that is a Zant. Commandant, lovely as ever in tight black leather, trips down from the podium to inspect the parade. I'm Dyrus Paulson, Commandant. Welcome to a serious settlement. It doesn't look like much at first sight, and believe me, it gets worse.
parade is dismissed, a tea table is brought, and tea is served to Dame Isabel, Captain Gondar, and Commandant Dyrus Bolson, accompanied by the monstrous Zant. Bolson explains the Zant's strange taboos and invites them to attend the opera production. While I enjoy a chat to catch up with Dyrus Bolson, Roger sees Maddock being very friendly with the handsome astrogator Logan the Appling.
ourselves comprehensible to the Byzantors. They seem completely non-human in their attitudes. In certain ways, yes. Sometimes I wonder at how closely our judgments mesh. I'll say this, if you want to present a program that the Zants can relate to, you're going to have to take them on their own terms. Naturally, naturally. We are prepared to do so. Can you offer us any suggestions? Probably not. Well, let's think further. As I recall, Fidelio, are not certain scenes played in a dungeon? Quite correct. Almost the whole of Act Two. You must remember that a dungeon is a cherished home to the Zants. The deranged, the troublemakers are expelled to the plain, where they roam in bands. Incidentally, warn your company not to wander off by themselves. Well, well, well. I suppose we can make some changes easily enough. Act one in the dungeon, and act two in the open. 
Then there's also costuming. Do you know what the Zants call us in their own language? Sky lice. Mm. Exactly. If you costumed your sky lice players to resemble Zants, you'd command a much higher degree of attention. Where in the world will we get such costumes? I have some tanned Byzantor pelts in the warehouse. If you like, I'll have them brought to the ship. To a successful performance. is tranquil and beautiful at sunset. Maddock is again canoodling with the handsome astrogator Logan de Appling as eerie noises emerge from the undergrowth. Roger sees and despairs. 